favorite thing I did in Japan by far is getting to snowboard out here. Like this, they say that Japan powder is different. At first, I was skeptical. Like first couple days, I was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of like like a good mammoth June day. But today was just something else. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But it, it, this was just amazing. Um, I guess personally, my favorite memory is just walking the streets of Tokyo. Just being in a foreign country and a place that. Feels not completely alien, but just different from what you're used to on your day-to-day -day life, and just being with a whole crowd of people that probably don't speak the same language as you, probably won't even understand you if you were to try to talk to them. Um, that sort of anonymous feeling was pretty awesome to have. Especially walking in at night in you know Shibuya streets and stuff like that, with the neons everywhere, and you have people. Um, for some reason, it's always cute girls handing out flyers, that sort of thing. Um, and it's just a, it's just a different experience. It's a, it's a different everyday experience that's hard to describe. I guess that would be my favorite thing. What's that one place Sean took us? That shit was pretty good. The food? Yeah, the food. Uh, Sujihan? Yeah. Or the one with the... We uh, set up a fucking big ass round table, you know? Yeah. She was fire, huh? Yeah, dude, fucking supreme. <laughs> oh, Tokyo Auto Salon was pretty sick, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I didn't see there. most of it. There was so much there. Too much? There was a lot of shit. Did you get anything? I got a couple of hoodies. Nice. Stickers. Yeah. I liked eating at the Ichiran. Oh, man. That was a vibe. Yeah. I put a podcast in my ear. My favorite moment in Japan was boarding the powder. Sheesh. That was earlier today. That was earlier today. My crazy. favorite moment in Tokyo was, I don't know, the whole thing. Just everything? Everything. Everything. Yes, sir. Alrighty. My favorite thing is all the food out here. Uh, tip for anybody that goes to Japan, get some good shoes. My fucking feet hurt. Train is dope. The Wagyu, fire. Ginza. That was Tokyo Auto Salon. Oh yeah, yeah, I went to Tokyo Auto Salon. It's fire. It's, it's great. Like, everything, if you're into tuning, car tuning, then Tokyo Auto Salon has everything. But it's a lot of walking too. And uh, actually, I enjoy snowboarding. This is the best powder I've ever boarded in, ever. We in the Seiko. Here I fool. Peace. Rusutsu, baby! Rusutsu? Nah, what happened there? It was, this, uh, it was all the snow I experienced with everyone here. But especially Rusutsu! <laughs> all the trees. And Tran right here dying. With me. <laughs> my body hurts. But yeah. Oh my god, and snowboarding in oh, yeah. Japan was crazy. I mean, having the Japao, that was crazy. I wish it snowed more, like Gerard has said, that it I usually know. snows more, but and honestly, the last day to snowboard, that powder is crazy. That was wild. I don't even think I want to go snowboard anywhere else anymore. Maybe I'll try it, I'll try it in Utah and stuff, but I don't know. If it's not snowing, I don't want to go. I, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I'm a little spoiled, but yeah, spoiled boy now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing was actually today, everybody experiencing like powder like that, and seeing everybody like scream down the mountain. That was sick. So that was my favorite thing. And then the other thing I was thinking of was like literally as we like started landing in Tokyo, like having that all become like, oh shit, like we're here. Like we got here first and then people started landing. You got three people here, six people there. And it was like, this trip is actually happening. And we saw Mount Fuji in our landing. Yeah, too. that was pretty sick. That was like so, the first thing we saw. That's our favorite. Nice. Literally like being together and it's crazy because like like we're high we're tired we're fucking getting on the train we're going in the powder like and i love how we could like stick together like this and like still have the best time and be family you know and that's like to me that's like number one i don't know if i like worded that right but like <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
it's okay. We, we can't take like any of that back, you know. And I think I'm gonna cry right now, you know. I'm not, but, <laughs> but I could. I can't let go. Um, I don't. I mean, like the same. Like I think you can't copy me. Okay. <laughs> I think being with everybody has been really fun. I don't know if there's like one specific thing. I think like us getting there was super fun, just being able to see everybody. The one thing was the capybara. Mm. Yeah, capybara. Yeah. And it was sick because it was so close to our Airbnb, so yeah. I was able. We were able to like do so things cute. around, and I think that was just my one wish to see the capybaras because yeah. you can't see them in the US. <laughs> Yeah, overall experience with the trip, I mean, this was the trip of a lifetime. I mean, yeah, I get to travel all the way across the U.S. and it's just, it, cities are just another city. And but this this whole thing was a whole culture shock to me in in, in the best of ways. I mean, for the first time ever, you know, getting around by train rather than car, that was an experience all on its own. You, you know, and then. You see a little bit of everything on the trains. You see in the mornings you got the business travelers. They're they're all going to work. At night you see the shitheads like us out partying and, and coming back. But uh, really the the toughest part about the whole thing was you're supposed to be quiet on these subways, but then you have people like uh, the ones that you're going to see in the rest of this interview who try to make me laugh at every freaking turn. Like, all it takes is a, a look, a gesture, and it takes every ounce of strength, probably more than it took snowboarding, to not laugh to the point where I'm crying yeah, as if I, I'm just going through a tragedy in my life. It's like silent library come to life. And I can just feel it now. It doesn't even have to be something like verbally said, like, like a little gesture is is all it takes. Just absolutely ruined my whole train ride. But it was my train rides were ruined in the best of ways. Overall, this was a great trip. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. My overall impression is that we went with a great group. Everyone here is lovely. You know, I love you guys. Um, and I got to spend my birthday here, which is crazy. Um, today's me, birthday. Yeah, today is my birthday, <laughs> along with uh, Izzy. It's also Izzy's birthday. And it's just, I don't know, my overall impression is that this was a great trip, a once in a lifetime trip, to be honest. It's my first time out of the US, my first time in Japan. Um, it's great. I mean, there's, I have no complaints about it. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a blast. I don't know how else to say it. It's been a blast. It's been great. I don't think I'll ever forget anything that has happened here. It's nice. The food's good. People are polite. I like Naseka. Too many houses oh. here. <laughs> hey, mate. The vibes were immaculate. <laughs> Just constant. Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> and strong zeros. And strong zeros and tired as fuck. But so, so much fun. My trip was too short. Next time I'll look at Pontoni. Poki. Fun. <laughs> Vibes. Yeah. Great. I like Japan. You know? The culture is nice. People are friendly. Yeah. Great. I made it, uh... 7 out of 10. No, I'm kidding. 10 out of 10. This is sick. There's so many people here. I can't believe it. I guess for me it's always about like being with everybody and having, watching everybody have a good time. So it was nice to show, you know, my family uh, around and have them enjoy the things that we like to do and seeing their faces light up for certain things and then us trying all of us trying new things together um yeah i don't know i don't have a, a specific moment i feel like this everybody that i talked to uh you know like that wasn't on the trip that was like oh who are you going to japan with and we're like oh like our group of friends that are like you know 14 of us or whatever 14 plus of us 
they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Japan with that many people, blah, blah, blah. But we made it work and... Honestly, it was not even a problem. <laughs> like we, we handled it. We got the reservations that we needed to get. We, we did all the things. We planned accordingly and we were able to get all... How many people of us? 11 to 14 to 22 people. <laughs> All in, together, in, all in together in the restaurants, and we were able to coordinate it all. So, so I mean, we did a good a lot, job. A lot, people, a lot of people say that you can't fit that many people in Japan, but it's like it's it sounds like those are coming from people that don't know Japan that well. I don't know, but we were able to make it work. You know what I mean? We had a good time. But my personal favorite was Tokyo Auto Salon. <laughs> but that aside, I think it's more so just having everybody come by and enjoy Japan, the place that we have grown to love and want to come back over and over again and I know I feel bad though because we didn't get a chance to show you guys anything relatively speaking because there's so much more to do in Japan we only showed you like one percent chotto chotto dake chotto dake chotto dake of not even one percent of what we would have loved to show you like we love Kyoto we love Osaka we really want to explore different different sides like more of Hiroshima would be sick um, Sapporo would be sick. So there's there's so much more. There's to, just a lot. There's so much more to go. More of Tokyo that we. I think that's why we love Japan so much is because and because we love everything that it has to offer and we love showing everybody that hasn't been there what it has to offer. You know, like Japan is just more that that much more special now that we've all been there together and we can share these experiences together. So I'm excited for the next time. This is like our best trip. Like individually, together, whatever it is, like this is like our favorite trip. Like two weeks with everyone like this has been like super crazy. Like I think I still can't believe that like we're actually still here. And it's probably like when we leave where it's going to be like, oh crap, like the trip happened and it's like it's ending now. But um, I don't know. It's, it's bizarre. I still can't. Like I wake up every day. I'm just like, this is like we're here. It's wild. I do think we need to come back yeah. and yeah, see well, different parts of it. Hell yeah, for sure. Super cool. Um, can, can you help me out? Or? I don't know what to say. I wasn't prepared. I've ne- okay, I'll, I'll say it. I have never done anything like this where like, we're all fucking together in like another country. Even though it's Japan. But like, how fucking cool is that? You know? Yeah, it's great like we, everybody to go. You, you know? And it's all because of Rybo. Like, you started it, you yeah. know? Yeah. But it's crazy because we, like, we didn't really leave anybody behind, which is like, not, it's we not added like anybody. A whole bunch yeah. Of <laughs> we yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we left Ryan behind on the train. <laughs> <laughs> on the train. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. Twice, twice, twice. Sorry, Ryan. We love you. <laughs> Well, we left you behind on accident, okay? So don't be too bad. You know what I mean? I did it on purpose. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we literally just lived together for yeah. so long. All so close. Ease, <laughs> ease, you know? Year off again. Yeah. I believe it's been like a year since April. It's kind of nuts. And that's what started off. Look at our shirts, you know? <laughs> you need new ones now. Just being able to go on an overseas international trip with everyone was uh, just great, just seeing this all come together. And, and it's the, the trip that made it out of the group chat, you know? Ooh, Most of the times you're always asking like, hey, let's do this, I wanna do that. Everyone's down, but are they actually down? And this was what showed what everyone was down, cause we here, we did it. But uh, yeah, we definitely have to do this again. And now we know everyone's down. Love you though, right? Well, um, I think, like, like, for real, like, <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Thank you for coming on this video.